Hello, hello. I've arrived. All right. So, we're here once again. Let's see, what is there to say? I guess, yes, we should start with the usual, go over our business. So, the schedule. Today, we are playing Christmas Celebration with Sakuya Izioi. So that means that this is officially Christmas. Today's Christmas and tomorrow is New, Year, New Year's Eve. But, all right, hold on. Actually, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Hold on. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake, haven't I? For some reason, I thought I thought Saturday was New Year's Eve. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, last minute change of well, not quite last minute. I guess we're we're still like technically two days out from when we had initially planned. But uh, yes, I'm I am just now realizing that tomorrow is tomorrow is New Year's Eve. When I had planned to do, you know, the New Year, <laughs> New Year celebration on on New Year's Eve, hence the 10 p.m. time, so we could, you know, be here at midnight together. Hmm. Well, I do have tomorrow off work, so I guess I could do, <laughs> I guess I could do two streams in one day. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably just do that, actually. <laughs> uh, but yes, the very first... Well, I was going to say, the very first schedule I put out has just a, a typo in it, but I realize now it's not a typo. I just didn't... Uh, I just wasn't thinking. I just wasn't thinking properly. Come to think of it, yeah, I've been... I've been assuming this entire week that, that uh, Saturday was New Year's Eve, but that's entirely untrue. That is entirely untrue. Well, that's neither here nor there, I suppose. So, today, we're here. We're here on Thursday. It is Thursday. I can, I can confirm that it is Thursday currently. I am not temporally misaligned today. So yes, today is Thursday, so we're going to be playing Christmas Celebration with Sakura Izuoi, another in the series of uh, Segyat visual novels. <coughs> I should probably lean away from my mic when I clear my throat instead of leaning into it. I don't know why I had the instinct to, to lean into it. My apologies. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so... Yes, once again, we'll be playing another Sigyad, a uh, visual novel. But yeah, it, uh, I don't know, I have absolutely no idea how long this particular visual novel is. So if it's, if it's particularly short, we may move on to another, another thing before we close up for tonight. But yes, um, what else is there to say? I guess that's, that's all there is to say about this particular stream. So. Tomorrow, uh, we've just had to emergency reschedule because I, I just now realized uh, a terrible truth about the underlying nature of the world. But yes, so tomorrow we're going to be playing Destiny 2 Forsaken, and for the sake of for the sake of it, I'm going to keep that at uh, 10 a.m. And then, well, actually, come to think of it, I do need to. Uh, I do need to like go through the uh, plot of Forsaken with my Warlock because I wanted to show off my Warlock. Mm. You know, what? actually, never mind. <laughs> we'll just do, we'll do some more Forsaken in uh, on the Friday stream, and then once we're done with the Forsaken, we'll switch over to uh, the Warlock. That way, I don't necessarily have to delay the stream. Because I'm already rescheduling the Saturday stream to Friday, so let's not create uh, too much more work for myself on that particular day. And then I can have the actual New Year's Day off. 
but yeah, let's see. I feel, I keep feeling like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Honestly, that's probably just the, uh, <clears throat> the rather unfamiliar se uh, sensation of remembering something. <laughs> now that I've realized that uh, I was very wrong about uh, my conception of what day was when and uh, all that. Hmm. Alright, is there anything else to say? I suppose that's pretty much it. But yeah, there have been there are topics that I wanted to discuss, but I'm I'm saving those for the planning stream because they are related to pardon, they are related to future plans. So we will delay until then. So tonight we're playing Christmas Celebration with Sakia Easily. Tomorrow we're doing uh, Destiny Two Forsaken, and we're also going to be doing our New Year's Eve stream because you know our end of the new year stream because you know <laughs> that's when the year ends not uh the day after you see i'm not late i'm just celebrating in the future you see <laughs> uh all right that should be everything that needs taken care of before we get started so i say no reason to delay let's get started <laughs> Game? There we go. Game. Saki Ezioi. Christmas celebration with. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, full screen. Oh. Hmm, the capture doesn't like that, apparently. Window? Hello? Uh-oh. Hmm. Can we... Would you be so kind? Window? Please? Hmm, do we need to restart maybe? Strange. Alright, one second. Let's try that again. Yeah, I was wondering if that was maybe just a full screen issue. Okay, definitely it isn't because it's full screen now and we've got uh, the screen up. Yeah, it seems like that was not a full screen thing. That was just a switching to full screen thing. Uh, just sort of caused the, the game capture to uh, become sad. So, this is the festival. But yeah, it's been a good long time since our last time we visited Sakia Ezioi. Seen her a couple of times in our other Sigyad adventures. She did try to drown us a little bit as a joke last time. So perhaps that's why it's been so long since our last visit. But, uh, we're here again. We won't let a, a little thing like, uh, an attempted drowning, uh, get between, uh, get between us as friends. So, this is the festival. <laughs> Hold on, is there voice acting in this game? Wow, it's so beautiful. Hmm. Is that the voice I use for Sakia? I never remember <laughs> the issue. The issue with uh, doing games all spaced apart like this is that I always forget the voices that I give to everyone. Look, look. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure if there's voice acting per se, but there seems to be laughing. What a sight. I don't know how that shrine maiden came up with the idea for this festival. Apparently, it's a yearly tradition in the outside world to hold these kind of events every year. How exciting. <laughs> but it seems to have been such a great idea, don't you think? I wonder where she got it from. That being said, there's so many things to be done here. Let's explore the festival to the fullest. <laughs> I wonder what we shall do first. And the laughs, the laughs keep throwing me off because I'm, I'm not expecting uh, any voicing from this game. Oh, look, there's that Oni from the underground. Let's go see what she's offering. Don't be shy now. 
<laughs> oh, and be sure to bring me some of what she's selling too. Welcome. Hmm. Actually, hold on. What voice should I do for Yugi? That was a, a bit gruff, maybe. Yeah, she's an Oni. Oni are gruff. Welcome. We got... Hmm. A little bit higher, maybe? Welcome. We got special Oni sake straight from the underground for you to try. It'll knock you dead. I'm sure it will. Ah, oh, you're quite the fella, aren't you? Are you with that sake lady? Oh, who am I? <laughs> oh, of course. Where are my manners? I'm an Oni hailing from the underground, the former hell itself. Name's Yugi Hoshiguma, but you can just call me Yugi. In terms of raw power, I'm one of, if not the strongest Oni around. As for me, I'm not this... I'm not one to run these sorts of shops or stands. I actually prefer going out there and drinking. But I figured it's not so bad for a change of pace. <laughs> you can bet you you can bet that I uh, you can bet though that I'll be making quite a scene at the after party though. I'm sure you're familiar with Reimu and Marissa, the ordinary shrine maiden in the Magician of Paradise, or however their titles go. I've actually fought against those two before. Those two before even. They beat me fair and square in a Danmaku battle. Not that I was trying my hardest, though. That said, I never got the—I never got to fight against Sakia, though. I wonder how Sakia and holds up compared to those two. What do you think? Is Sakia stronger than them? Is Sakia stronger than me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no need to tell me, of course. Still up. She seems like a nice enough lady, but careful. I can tell just by looking at her that she's not one you want to mess with. So treat her right, or you'll end up staring at a thousand knives. <laughs> ah, we're here for this sake, huh? Hmm, I'll tell you what. I like you, so I'll let you have two cups here for free. One for you, and one for your sake, yeah. Isn't that what the Christmas spirit is all about? Careful, though. This stuff isn't your ordinary sake. We only have a bottomless alcohol tolerance compared to you humans, so this stuff is a lot different from what you may be used to. <laughs> it's like 500 proof, I'm sure. It'll knock you dead if you're not careful. Maybe literally, too. Although it's rumored there are some humans who can drink as much as an oni. <laughs> Yet to meet one, though. Maybe you're one of them? Anyway, don't be shy now. Take these and bring them to your lady. Do her right tonight. If by any chance you end up in the underground, come see me. I'll make you feel at home or die trying. There's a lot of dying that goes on in Oni hospitality, isn't there, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't die trying to get there in the first place. I guess maybe there's just a lot of dying involved in hell in general. That, that checks out, I suppose. Take care now. Oh, you got the sake? Great, let's try it. Speaking of alcohol, did you know I can turn wine into grape juice? I did it once. <laughs> now that would just be a waste. You'll be the death of us, Oni. That's right. My powers aren't li just limited to throwing knives and manipulating time. <laughs> Although, who's to say that's the true nature of my abilities? Are you familiar with trigonometry? It's been a long time since I'd, I've done any math, but sure. Let's take the interior angle of a triangle. If you add up all the interior angles of a triangle, it's always going to add up to 180 degrees. But, can you imagine a triangle with all of its angles adding up to something way more than 180 degrees, while still being a triangle? This feels like some sort of trick question, or, I don't know, perhaps this is just uh, an advanced form of math that I have not studied yet. <laughs> of course not, it's incomprehensible even say it would drive you mad to see such a thing. Such is the nature of my abilities. You can understand it. It's part of why I felt like an outcast early on. But, believe it or not, there are more complicated things in life, such as oxygen. I still need to be reminded what that is. But, anyway, we're here to have fun, not for math lessons. Aww. I suppose I've been talking too much about myself. What kind of talents can you do? I can stream. You may own, you may have some unique quirks or talents about yourself that only a few people can do. 
For example, maybe you're really good at shuffling cards or throwing knives. I can deal cards pretty good. People have uh, have commented on my, my dental hygiene quite highly. Hmm, I guess, yeah, you all don't get the opportunity to see that, but uh, I've been told that my teeth are quite nice. Very few people have seen the t these teeth of mine. Or perhaps you're really flexible or can mimic other people's voices. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it can be beneficial to be proud of these and show them off to people who will really enjoy them. It can really help make the moment that much more memorable. <laughs> yeah, for example, I can never spill a single drop from my sake dish. Speaking of sake, you two should drink it now before it spoils. Is, is that how it works? Well, for these kinds of festivities, I'm all for drinking. Bottoms up. Wait a sec, Sakuya. Oh? I want to savor this moment. Do it one person at a time. <laughs> I want to see the human drink it first. What are you implying, Yugi? <laughs> that, seems, that seems to be implying that Sakuya is not a human, which... I guess, I guess you... Uh, Yugi doesn't necessarily know if Sakuya is a human or not. I guess we don't necessarily know if she's a human or not. I think there's there's some... Uh, I believe there's a little bit of debate in the Toho community whether or not that is true. She claims to be human at the very least, so I'm going to, to uh, believe her for the time being. <laughs> Alright, whenever you're ready. Alright, drink responsibly, everyone. Uh... Probably not with Oni if you can avoid it. Certainly not if it is, if you have not uh, drank before, as is the case with me, and will remain the case with me. <laughs> oh man, you should see your face right now. Wish I could savor this moment forever. Wow, I'll have to agree with the Oni. You definitely look very cute, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, oh my, are you okay? Oh, wow. You don't look so good, even after only having a sip. This Oni Sake is sure is really is strong, huh? Yeah, it keeps shaking the, uh, <laughs> shaking the frame. Whoa, take him to Entei Sake. I think he's really gonna die at this rate. Alright, we've noticed, uh, we've noticed, uh, I have noticed a, uh, typo there. That should be a Entei, not Entei. Unless, unless there's just a legendary Pokemon, uh, hanging around here. Which I guess is not impossible. Don't worry, I got this. Spell card sign. Time dilation. There, don't you feel better already? Whoa, the heck did you do? Compared to before, he looks as strong as an Oni now. Well, just like how I can turn the grape juice into wine, I can do the reverse as well. I reverse age the sake in your body. Hmm. What's what's sake made of? Rice, I think. So I guess I've just uh effectively I've just eaten some rice, which is which is okay. Old rice, perhaps. Actually, hold on. What is sake made of? I'm curious now. Yes, it is made of rice. Okay. I knew I knew it was. I don't know, I guess I knew it was rice. I don't know what else I might have thought it would have been. The sake in your body now is no is now nothing more than white rice. Man, I'm I'm like what I'm like exactly one step ahead of this game. That should go down much easier now. Don't worry, you're always safe with me around. It's my duty as the head maid to protect those I care about. Besides, I can't have you dying on me yet. There's still more to this festival. I hear another member of the underground is helping out with a cafe around the corner. Let's check it out. Thanks again, Oni. Maybe we'll have a down Maku battle one day. <laughs> oh, looking forward to that. Stay safe, you two. Here's your food. Oh, you two look so cute together. I'm so jealous. Hmm, I should be careful what voice I'm doing, because I, I don't know if I. this is someone that I will... A voice that I will want to commit to for this person, whoever this is. 
Oh my, did you hear that? That pointy-haired waitress called us cute. I suppose we do look nice together. <laughs> she did sound a little bit bitter. I wonder who hurt her. Ah, uh, that must be Parsi then. Toho characters. I I need to play more more like Toho Toho games so that you all can uh, become acquainted with the uh, the concepts that are being uh, discussed here. Because I realize that there's that there's probably a lot of names and a lot of ideas going around that don't necessarily mean a whole lot to a whole lot of people. But uh, we'll get there in time. I'm glad we can finally sit back and relax now that we don't have to discuss the the lore of other Toho characters yet anymore. Mm. This cute little cafe feels so cozy. Why don't you try some of the cake? Some of the cake. All right, I will. I will. For your sake, I will have only some. Only some. Oh wait! Before you go any further, I have some questions to ask you. Did you ever consider working as a butler? Are you? What's the pay like? I guess. What's the pay and what's the hours? Because I, I do kind of have a, a gig that I'm that I'm on already. As I, as I said, I'm a streamer. I know I said that I'll always be here for you, and I understand that you have your own goals and aspirations. But we could use a person with an actual brain at the mansion. Are you, are you excluding yourself from that, or are you implying that you do not also have an actual brain? Eh, Amelia likes to keep around the fairy maids. But between you and me, they're not all that useful. Actually... It's a bit of an open secret that they're kind of useless. She even took in hobgoblins at one point as well. At least they were more helpful, I suppose. I guess what I mean is that... It would be nice to have another human working with me. Especially... Ah, Otis the Can. Hello, hello. Good to see you. I hope you're enjoying your, your uh, Christmas, because it is Christmas right now. We have decided... But yes, our, our time-displaced Christmas celebration today. But yes, good to see you around. I can't lie, it would be a lot of work, but it would be so rewarding as well. That's why I enjoy cleaning. It leaves something in a better place than it was before. Than what it was before, even. I guess, in a way, I'd imagine we'd both be in a better place than before if you came to work with me. We have plenty of rooms there, too. We'll have a free room and board while you're working at the mansion. Alright, I'll need to bring in my, my streaming setup if you if you all don't mind. <laughs> of course, there's plenty of space for you in my room if you want to move in there instead. <laughs> well, there's no pressure. I'm just letting you know. I'll respect whatever decision you may come across. Oh, tea is getting cold. Let's dig in. Give me just one second here, actually. Gotta check on something. And I suppose I'll take this opportunity to take a sip as well. But yes, how are you doing today, Otis? If I haven't already asked. And I think I haven't already asked. But yes, how are you doing? Sit. I'm having a lot of fun. There's still so much more left to do. Come on. Let's see. Oh, you smell that. It smells absolutely delicious. I know we just ate at a cafe, but I could go for seconds. I mean, we did all... There was only like a slice of cake on the table. So I, I could definitely have some more. Go ahead and get some food for us. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. There's a whole, there's a whole word being said. Not just a laugh. Mystia can speak in entire, ent entire words. But yes. Oh, hello there, human. I see you were drawn by the smell of my cuisine. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not playing tricks on you. This grilled lamprey really does taste as good as it smells. I think my dog wants it. Hold on. All right. Be right back again. Gotta go let my dog in. He wants in the room. He wants to be on the stream. 
but she doesn't have a model, so she can't. All right, we've returned with one additional with one additional dog. You know, I said I said the uh, you can't join in because she doesn't have a model thing as a joke. But I feel like if someone invented like uh, a program that let uh, people people have like their uh, their pets join them in on uh, you know in V tubing, that person would would make a lot of money. I feel like. All right, let me. Let me try to recapture my Misty of voice. Oh, wait, we already read this dialogue. All right. Oh, are you with Sakuya? You know, I think I fought her once before. She was she was with her vampire boss, Romelia. <laughs> Boy, were they tough. My best spell cards were no match for them. Even my ability to make them near blind, even with my ability to make them near blind, they talk. Effortlessly dodged my Don Maku and overpowered me. Or perhaps even <laughs> dogged my Don Maku and overpowered me. That's another that's another uh typo. Huh? Why were they fighting me, you ask? Well, they were out to resolve an incident. Something about the moon or night being weird or something. I and I just happened to be in the way. Even though I said I wasn't up to anything bad. We yokai are always the prime suspects when anything suspicious happens. <laughs> so, although, I can't say I blame them. My powers are pretty terrifying. Uh, oh? Ah, come on, don't look at me like that. I was ex just exaggerating. My powers aren't actually that scary. <laughs> I'm not that mean to humans. Not anymore, at least. You know, I'm more into playing the guitar these days. Besides, we yokai can't harm any humans. We're all coming together for this festival in the spirit of Christmas. We totally get exterminated by the Shrine Maid. You can be really, really scary too, you know. Speaking of the Shrine Maiden, doesn't her red-white outfit make her to perfect to be, I don't know, some kind of gift giver? <laughs> oh, right, you're here for the library. Hmm. Well, you're kind of nice, so I'll let you have some for free. We sure are oppressing these people with our... With our zero lines of dialogue. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, being polite in Gensokyo is a bit of a rarity. So, uh, these people are inclined to, uh, to aid, uh, to aid us? I guess, uh, to, uh, provide us with their wares just for the, uh, just for the sheer fact that we have not, uh, insulted them or attempted to, to fight them or attempted to fight them and then insulted them. Or attempted to insult them and then fought them. <laughs> Why don't you come see my performance sometime? <laughs> ah, she's trying to get us to come to her concerts. Anyways, have fun now and enjoy the food. Thanks for fetching this for us. Speaking of this food, did you know how the vendor of this grilled lamprey gets people to buy her food? By giving away concert tickets with it, apparently. They say she blinds people traveling across from her stand and makes it so the only light they can see is the one emitting from her stand. This makes the poor victims drawn to her stand and they are told buying lamprey will cure their blindness. Oh, hold on. I just realized I'm on a different, uh, different screen than I was before. There we go. Once they buy the food and eat it, she lifts their blindness immediately. I'm sure you can imagine how this attracts customers, even repeat ones. 
That's a rather cruel tactic, but I guess yokai will do anything to thrive in Gensokyo. The whims of capitalism. We are all, we are all, no matter where we are, no matter what we are, we are all, we are all drawn into the great machine. That said, I'm not sure she's still doing that nowadays. I hear she's into playing the guitar. I hear her performances are very popular. I think we should go check it out sometime. Don't be afraid. I'll protect you if anything happens. <laughs> oh. I understand what you must be thinking. If we were enemies, how can we get along now? We might be pondering. And yes, it's a fair assessment. We have fought against people who started major incidents that have threatened our very livelihoods. And yet, somehow, at the end of the day, we can all call it a day and have a picnic. And yet, somehow, at the end of the day, we can all just call it a day and have a picnic party together? Question mark. I should uh, read lines of dialogue before I start reading the lines of dialogue, huh? <laughs> so that I know what tone to use in the sentence. I don't fully understand it myself, but resolving incidents and battling is hard work. We, might as we all might as well relax and unwind after it's all over. Here in Gensokyo, we're a small and tight-knit community. We're all we've got. So it's important to set aside our differences as soon as they're no longer a threat. And besides, if they ever try to start something again, we can always kick, the, kick their butt. I'm a part-time incident resolver myself, you know. We're just that confident in our abilities, I suppose. Or the, furthermore, you never know if they will help us, too. It can't hurt to put aside differences sometimes and learn to get along, even if it's just for a small moment. And if it's revenge you want, just remember a rotten flower will wither away on its own. That said, though, have you ever eaten a grilled eel before? I have never eaten any configuration of eel, I must say. Probably not, I bet. But honestly, this tastes pretty good. It said the kind of food people eat tells a lot about them. I am not sure about that, but I do only cook only what you may call high-class and refined food around the mansion, especially for Amelia, so maybe it's true. Though I have eaten other kinds of foods the people around here have made up, I was blown away a few times. Most of the time, you'll want to stick with what you're comfortable with. There's nothing wrong with having a cautious but open mind. <laughs> Although, while well, it's important to try new things, but there's nothing wrong with sticking to what you're comfortable with. Oh, my. I think the fireworks are starting. Hmm, we should have headed to the main plaza sooner to get the best view. I did say we should enjoy this event to the fullest, after all. Hey, hello, Pick. Good to have you around. Good evening. Good evening. But yes, welcome to our Christmas party. You have you have entered Christmas. We have walked back in time, and it is now Christmas again. But still, what shall we do? Visual novel night? It is visual novel night. But yes. <clears throat> Yeah, it's been a little bit since we last played a visual novel. I do... Cozy. Yeah. But yeah, I like visual novels. I like doing voices. And I want to practice doing voices so I can do a, a bit more... So I can have a... Improve my range, I suppose. Because I... I guess... <laughs> I do sort of do a lot of... Uh, my uh, inflection is sort of... Uh, I have sort of this... Uh, just a sort of light airy tone that I take with basically every character that I voice unless I have like a you know back when I was playing Nino Kuni you know I would uh I did uh I would say you know voices that were closer to the uh since I had like how's your pitch range I have absolutely no idea which is why I need to practice let's see how low can we go I think this is about as low as my voice can get. I don't know, maybe a little bit lower. If I, I don't know, if I take it this low, I sound kind of, I don't know, it's not terrible. But it is, uh, perhaps, eh, no, it's, it's pretty understandable, I think. And as for my pitches, I think this is, eh, I don't know, I'm not, this is actually pretty good, actually, I think. It's decent. Decently intelligible, at least in, to my ear. 
But yeah, so I guess beyond uh, pitch, like I like I was saying, sort of uh, more so like the inflection and the tone that I take. And uh, it's also really hard for me to uh, <laughs> low voice is very lovely. Thank you. But yeah, it's hard for me to uh, to keep up particularly high or particularly low voices. So I guess most of the time when I'm doing a voice, I basically just sort of uh, I just sort of talk a little bit softer. That's uh, maybe I raise the pitch just a little bit, but mostly it's just I talk a little bit softer than usual. Or maybe I talk a little bit gruffer than usual. And uh, I'd like to uh, develop a little bit more nuance, be able to sort of uh, formulate speaking styles for characters. I've been experimenting with that a little bit. I sort of did uh, Mistia's voice and a little bit sing-songy, and I don't think that's the pitch I used, but yeah, remembering the pitches and uh, various uh, affectations that I use for character voices is another thing that I need to work on. But yes, where was I? Oh yeah, dialogue. Oh, I have an idea. You know, in Gensokyo, anyone, anyone can learn the ability to fly. Myself included. What do you say I lift you high up in the sky so we can enjoy the view a little better? <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm a little bit stronger than you look. Than I look. <laughs> than you look. <laughs> you know. All right, here we go. Are you all ready for the fireworks? Maku is all about pa Oh, wait, hold on. This is, this is probably a different character's voice. Hmm. This is probably Marissa's voice. What voice should we give Marissa? Don Maku is all about power. I'll prove it to all you. Spell card sign. Stardust Reverie. Nice. Close your eyes. Oh, an entire, an entire sentence spoken. Yeah, there's some there's some voice acting in this game. Not a whole lot. But uh but yeah, this is the first entire sentence that we've heard spoken. Unless there were others and I just uh talked over them. But anyway, close your eyes. Now open them. Ta da What do you think? I know it's not exactly in line with Christmas. accidentally muted my microphone there or uh i intentionally muted it so i had to cough but uh i forgot to unmute it but i just want really wanted to see you to see me in a kimono <laughs> i don't often wear outfits like these you see at any rate what do you think of the fireworks personally i thought they were absolutely stunning it was a pretty nice image you know we used on maku as a show of beauty and power but and Maku also makes for really good fireworks, wouldn't you agree? As a matter of fact, some people in Gensokyo even participate in raiding Don Maku on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> I even participated in those a few times. Participants would show off their best Don Maku abilities, and I, along with the likes of Reimu and Marissa, would rate them. I suppose it's fair to say most of the participants' Don Maku were good, but there was one participant who I could not give a good score to no matter what. Not at first, at least. It was a rat yokai named Nazrin. Never fought against her, unlike Reimu or Marissa, but I'm not a fan of rats. When I saw her Donmaku, I gave her a score of five. Speaking of that, have you seen her around by chance? I can't help but feel she's been around the whole time. Hmm, either way. What does Christmas mean to you? I can't say I'm very religious. I'd say it feels very important. Seems like a place where everyone can just come together and have fun. I think that's very good. I can definitely understand why it's celebrated so much in the outside world. What about you? Do you feel the same way? Or perhaps is there more to it for you? But yeah, I don't know. I personally am religious. So it does have uh, more significance than to, to it than that for me. But, uh, you know, time with friends is also very nice. Friends and and uh, and my various ancestors from this time period, I suppose. I don't know. I guess, given the the amount of time between uh, the time that I came from and uh, this time, basically everyone is my ancestor. I would say probably. In uh, or at least it's it's hard to uh, to say definitively who is and who isn't, but uh, but yes. 
whatever reason is perfectly fine and valid, because we all just want the same things deep down. We should host events like this more often. That said, I think with these fireworks, that's all for the Don Maku for tonight. I had a really good time tonight. But don't think this is this is over. Far from it, as a matter of fact. We are going to the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Come on now. Oh my, I wonder why it's so dark down here. <laughs> Careful, watch your step. <laughs> ah, this should turn the lights back on. Surprise! Hmm. I guess, yeah, I can't do multiple voices at once, so I hesitated there for a second. Merry Christmas! Well, well, we finally meet again. If it isn't the human, have you finally come to your senses and decided to work under me? Events like this are fun, but if I don't have more humans to fear me, I'll die from boredom. <laughs> no need to pressure him, my lady. We meet again, human. I have to tell you, it was quite something to read all those Christmas stories and books just to get this surprise right. To get this surprise just right. Yeah, Blonde, or sorry, but she... <laughs> I, read, I read us a lot of true Christmas stories. <laughs> Patchouli read us a lot of true Christmas stories. I can't believe that they made an entire tradition based on the design of my wings. The outside world is cooler than I thought. Mistia? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Mistia has infiltrated the, the Scarlet Devil Mansion and we're the only one who knows. <laughs> She's impersonating Mei Ling. Oh no. Well, we won't, uh... Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is just very funny. I'm not a hundred... I was trying to make a joke there, but I couldn't I couldn't think of anything that, that was funnier than that. Hmm. Which, I guess, we'll just do the Mistia voice, because this is Mistia, as we've established. Check it out. There's a few gifts from the outside world we've been wanting to show you, show you in Sakuya. Oh my, what a lovely drawing. Or, sorry. Oh my, what a lovely drawing. I wonder what's inside the present. Ah, now Mei Ling's back. Okay. Mei Ling is back, and she's defeated Mistia, and, uh, and, uh, resumed her post as guard. Hmm, now I've got to think of an actual Mei Ling voice, so. Whoa, Sakya, you look especially cute in this one. I wonder where I can get a coat like that. Sakuya, when are you going to get me a present? And me? Don't forget about me, too. This guest art is done by Spooky. Very cool. There's... <clears throat> there's one more piece of artwork to show off. Yeah, I really need to come up with a, an actual tone for Mei Ling to, to speak in. There's one more piece of artwork to show off. A Christmas-themed maid outfit. It, looks, it actually looks good, so good on you. Mm, this is... This is like about five, five or so steps away from uh, my solid snake impression. Christmas themed made outfit actually looks so good on you. Huh. Oh my, why didn't I think of a dress design like this before? I really, really like this one. I want an outfit like that. This design was done by at Emerald Kitty underscore on Twitter. What a really nice design. Patchouli, Sakuya, I demand you all make us Christmas-themed outfits for the party. It's probably a little too late for that. Oh, right, the human doesn't know about it. I don't know much about Christmas, but what I do know is that we won't be one-upped by a bunch of puny humans in the village. I'm hosting the most magnificent Christmas after-party in my name. <laughs> Everyone across Tensokyo will know what it, that only I hold the best events. Everyone is invited, so be sure you have lots and lots of fun. It is not optional. The fun is mandatory, and you will enjoy it. <laughs> Delightful. But yes, I hope you are all in... Or sorry, I demand that you all enjoy your uh, your mandatory fun. Because uh, if not, uh, Remelia will be, will be upset. And we don't want that, now do we? 
It actually starts in about five minutes. So get ready. Yes, sir. Good, good. I don't want to. I don't want to lose my non-existent job by uh, allowing anyone to not have fun. I'll be in the corner if anyone needs me. I have so many dance moves to show off. Wonder if there's any humans willing to spar with me. <laughs> <laughs> then, as the mistress commands, let's do all, all do our best to have fun, or else. That was one exciting party. I suppose you need a place to stay now. Here is good. Go on, you first. My room will do just fine. Oh ho, there's another Fumo. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, that's a Sierna Fumo and a Flander Fumo. And yeah, he is holding a Remelia Fumo. I think she had, in the previous game, she had a different Remelia Fumo. So she's got at least, at least, Wait, hold on. I'm trying to remember to conjure up from the, the depths of my mind how many Fumos were featured in uh in the previous uh entry in the Saki Izioi series. But uh I don't know offhand. You're free to sleep in here for as long as you want. I myself have a bit of cleaning up to do, so it'll be a while. Ellipses. Hmm? What's that? Oh my. Is that what I think it is? You know, I did a bit of research on Christmas myself. I think I understand what that symbolizes. Hmm? Well, I'm definitely still in a giving mood. Oh, and I just realized, I just noticed the, uh, the Fumo, the Fumo portrait in the corner. I like that. I suppose I could take the night off. I'm closer. Close your eyes. Kiss me. I love you. Hmm. I re I'm talking over... <laughs> We've, we're getting more full sentences of, of dialogue, and I'm talking over it. So, my apologies if uh, you desperately wanted to hear that from Sakia Yuzioi today. Alright. So. Yeah, I guess that is that, is that then. But yes, it was. As I thought. Pretty short. Yeah, only 41 minutes, according to Steam. Yes. So, let's think. What do we want to... What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I suppose... Let's see. Do I have any other visual novels? That, uh... I mean, I have other visual novels. <laughs> do I have any, any other visual novels that we... That I would like to, uh... That I think that we could do in the time that we have left, because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to wrap up just yet. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I've got, because I know I've got some pretty short ones. I suppose maybe now. Hmm. Yeah, I did. I was thinking about, uh, or I wasn't thinking about, but uh, as I discussed earlier, uh, I do. I needed to. Uh, or <laughs> hold on, let me let me get my thoughts in order. So, SD two. Uh, Last Destiny 2 stream, I I realized that I had forgotten to uh to go through the uh the storyline, the Forsaken storyline with my warlock. So I wouldn't be able to to play them in the uh you know up to the in the part of the story that we uh had reached at that point. So I ended up just sort of not playing them at all yesterday. But since we have some extra time now then we might just, uh, yeah, we might as well just, uh, get started with, uh, or do some, uh, Destiny with, uh, the Warlock tonight. Some Destiny 2 with Warlock, the Warlock tonight, even. And then, uh, yes. And then tomorrow, I can just, you know, 
do Forsaken stuff and uh, not have to worry about uh, time for, you know, having time for one thing or the other. Hmm. You know, no, never mind. I, I, I like the, uh, I want to keep doing visual novels. But yeah, we're, we're completely flying by the seat of our pants right now, but the fun is mandatory, so you'll, you will, you will enjoy it one way or the other. You have no choice. You will enjoy this stream. You will enjoy the visual novel content. Is this one pretty short? Let's see. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's pretty short. All right, so time for another visual novel, everybody. I was I was kind of assuming this would happen, but I I still didn't. Uh, despite assuming it would happen, I didn't uh, plan for it per se. So here we go. This is another visual novel that I have that is that I understand is very short. I'll make it visible here in just a second. Ba -ba -ba. All right, you can hear it already. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. You want to work? Hmm. Hmm. Apparently it doesn't want to work. Come along now. Hmm. All right. Maybe try that again. If you would be so kind as to work game, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, it's not the game. <laughs> it's not the game that's not working. Hmm. Capture does not like this particular game. Oh, there we go. But yes. So. This is Escape Chasm, which uh, is was made by Temi Chang, who you may know from uh, her, v her VTubing work. You may know from uh, her uh, work on Undertale. Uh, that's all I know about her personally, uh, those two aspects. I'm sure she's done a lot of other things. I mean, she's done at least one visual novel, apparently. So uh, there's that. But yes, I know very little about this game. Uh, other than that it's short, I know that it's, uh, I've had it for a little while, but I never, uh, and I've thought about playing it on other, uh, visual novel nights, but we never got around to it. We never got around to it. I never got around to it. I'm the one who's playing this, I guess. I'm the one who is, who makes these decisions. But yes, so. Let's see what this game's all about. Play opening movie? Sure. How about the rest of the movies? I don't see why not. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's vast and beautiful. I can see through the eyes of a girl I admire. However, as my consciousness slips back to me. Hmm, this game's a little bit loud. Hold on. Alright. Apologies for the lack of dialogue there. Maybe 
I can never truly reach the world, this world. Maybe one day, I still become the girl in that I see in that place. Yeah, it is very nice animation. Lonely girl's room. I think I'm done drawing for the day. Oh, she has a snake. Nice. I wonder where mom and dad could be. Hmm. This reminds me a lot of, like, uh, some of the dungeon music from Link's Awakening. A little bit. Alright, what do we got? We got drawings. A lot of drawings of your imaginings. The world you wish you lived in. Your skill is not where you want it to be yet, but you're still proud of what you've made. Man, that is, that is relatable. That is relatable. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? No, I just woke up. Or, I think we just woke up, according to that cutscene. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry, I suppose. I don't have anything to write yet. I should look around first. Fair enough. What do we got in the trash? It's your garbage can. There's a lot of crumpled up sketches full of paper. Of sketches full of papers? No. <laughs> papers full of sketches you don't like. It's me. It's a picture frame that holds a photo of a younger you. It's your drawer. Well, of clothes your parents bought for you. You don't really have a sense of for fashion yourself. It's a pile of clothes, ready to be washed. Snake. Melody looks sickly. He refuses to eat. What should I do? Hmm. I don't know, I'm not an expert on snakes, but I feel like, don't, aren't they supposed to have like a, a heat lamp or something over them? I don't know, who am I to, to tell this, uh, this girl she's taking care of her snake wrong? Alright, no, the lamp has, uh, no notable interactions it seems. A vase. It's a family photo of you and your parents. A photo of another member of your family. You met them when you were very young, so you don't remember who they are. Face. It's your parents' room. I shouldn't go in. A vase with some pretty flowers in it. A vase with some pretty flowers in it. Downstairs. Nice. A painting of flowers. Potted plant. A uh, phone? It's a phone. Maybe I should try calling my parents. Ringing. No answer. Let's see, is that... That looks like a mountain. Or s some mountains. A mountainscape, perhaps. A painting of mountains. A potted plant. A vase with some pretty flowers in it. Some shoes. A coat rack. Alright, maybe we maybe we shouldn't interact with everything if we want if we want the stream to end at some point. This family sure loves flowers and vases. They sure do. Vases and flowers. I keep getting my uh bits of sentences mixed up. The kitchen chair bench. Yes, there are a lot of vases and a lot of a lot of flowers. The radio. It plays a lot of old music. Kitchen garbage can. The refrigerator. It's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. The kitchen sink. Logged up a bit. It's the oven. It's a little scary. There's a painting over the oven. You want to look? Sure. Dog. Nice. A painting of a dog at the beach. A cutting board. It's a container full of sugar. 
maybe a bit would be okay. Hmm. I feel like I feel like our parents would probably not appreciate it if we ate sugar just right out of the jar. We ate a bit of sugar, but it seems that we have no uh, no care for for uh, such things. Oh, apparently we can just keep eating sugar. Too much sugar, you don't feel so good. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh well. A cabinet that holds ver various spices and ingredients. No self-control. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess it's my fault. I did go back to it uh, after eating a spoonful of it, so. <laughs> That's on me, I suppose. Living room. A reclining chair. Comfortable couch. Living room garbage can. A potted plant. It's the TV. It seems like a cartoon is about to start. Do you want to watch it? Sure. Ooh, nice. Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. Surrender and accept your fate. <laughs> Laughing. This rate, we're done for. Unless... I'm going to use my power. What? No! It's too dangerous! There's no other way. Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me! We'll see about that. Grunting! <laughs> While using this risky hidden power, do our heroes stand a chance? Tune in next time to find out! Dramatic cliffhanger. You're in you are in awe. You love this show. Nice. The episode has ended, and you don't want to watch TV anymore. Fair enough. Just that one show. That's the only show we like. Nice. Pick painting of a sunset. Bathroom. The shower curtain. You accidentally rip it a lot. The bathroom sink. Bathroom flavored garbage can. I'm not sure how much I like the, the phrase bathroom flavored anything. Uh. The toilet. The toilet paper. A potted plant. Alright. So we're not going to address, uh the flavor of the garbage can. We're not going to worry about that right now. Basement. It's a mirror. It's me. It's you. You look cute today. And so do you, everybody. A broom. It's a box. It's a box. It's an open box. It's a box. Let me guess, is this a box? It's a box. On a table. Mold receipts. It's a box. It's a box. It's a box. A dryer. A washing machine. Garbage can for lint. Is this the exit to our house? I don't want to go outside yet. I want to write in my diary. Fair enough. But yeah, we got to give props to Chemi Chang for for being so bold as to include a bathroom when so when so many so many other video games are uh, do not dare to include such things in their in their fictional houses. It's your diary. What would you like to do? You're gonna read today's entry. You aren't back today either. When will mom and dad come home? I'm really lonely. Hmm. No, he isn't doing so well. He won't eat anything for some reason. That's the time I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid, I, oh, I nearly forget reality. In these stories, I'm who I always wanted to be. Brave, strong, unafraid, living freely and living in and living in a forest of wonders, the world of my dreams. 
even have friends. But at the end of these imaginings, I have to remember that the world isn't real. At the end of the day, I have to remember I'm just me. The me who is pathetic. The me who is cowardly. The me who is alone. I'm kind of tired. I'd like to rest a bit. Yeah, hopefully we don't get uh, a stomach ache from all the sugar that we've eaten by the spoonful out of the jar. Uh, I guess we're going to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Hmm, if our only if our only meal of today was sugar, uh, tomorrow is probably not going to be too great. New day. Maybe. How long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they came back yet. How's Melody doing? Melody isn't moving anymore. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. So, we've had one thing change on us. Not a good change, uh, unfortunately. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. No response. Guess I should look around. Hmm. Alright, no one in the kitchen. We're not going to gorge ourselves on sugar this time, though. The radio. Doesn't appear to be working. Hmm, that was a, just a little bit ominous. Various spices and ingredients still. I'm glad nobody has uh, snuck in and eaten all of our human or what have you. Can we go in this door? Oh yeah, this is the bathroom. We're still not going to address this flavor. This chair was facing the other way before, wasn't it? This isn't our normal reclining chair. They come back and change the chair? Let's see what's on TV. I don't, I don't think I like this show. You don't feel like watching anymore. That's fair. We have a guest, it seems. Who are you? In Soviet Russia, TV watches you. <laughs> Just a visitor. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm glad we're, we're so polite. Not really, I'm just here to observe. Sir? What are you observing? I'm just here to see what happens. What do you mean? Fair enough. Where did he... Well, that was interesting. Hmm. 
Let's see, nothing here looks terribly different. It's me. It's you. You look cute today. Hmm. All right, nothing new and unusual with the broom. Did we inspect this? The boiler, scary looking. Yeah, I don't know if we, we looked at the boiler yesterday. Yesterday. We already, yeah, we already went in the kitchen. Hmm. It's a phone. Let's, let's, uh, report about the observer that we've had. All right, no answer. I... Hmm, maybe tomorrow. Well, uh, there was a strange guy in the house today. I couldn't believe my eyes. I wasn't sure if he was real or not. I was just a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. Now he stopped moving. I think he's sleeping. When will mom and dad come home? I don't know what to do. How do I help them? I'm kind of sleepy. I think I should take a rest. Uh, let's take a, let's take a rest then, I suppose. You know, I did not, uh, know what to expect with this game. It's been surprisingly a little bit creepy. I'm concerned about, uh, this observer. This mysterious state of affairs. Creepy but intriguing? Indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Please, help her. Please, help me. Oh dear. Interesting. Interesting situation that we're in. Alright. Parents still not back. Base is still here, though. All right, no strangers in our kitchen thus far. I still, I don't know if I should eat more sugar, but uh, also, uh, we haven't eaten anything else. <laughs> You're scared of the radio. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Hmm. All right. So we need to, uh, apparently one, one whole day of eating no sugar is not enough for us to recover from, uh, eating sugar. Oops. Sorry about that. Hmm. Chair is back? What's going on? Too afraid to turn on the television. Yeah. Understandable, given circumstances. Hmm. Well, I suppose if there's anything to be found, it's probably in the basement. Or maybe we should uh, leave the house. Because, yeah, nothing is visually different at this point. Me. It's you. You look cute today. 
All right, now that we've confirmed, it is time to explore the wider world. I can do this. Hmm. Well, I, I think I know why our calls weren't going through. What's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. Hmm. He's right, I should go back. What, what was that? What's going on? I, I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. I do. What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mom and dad? Where could they be? I should turn back. It's not safe. I'm not convinced it's any safer inside the house, given the uh, circumstances. Oh. Hmm. This is concerning. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's go back inside, actually. <laughs> Can we have some, uh, I don't know, celery? No. There's no celery. Well, this is worrying. Hmm. Man, if only we had, like, a, a phone book, and we could figure out, uh... Yeah, if only we had a phone book and we could figure out who to call about, uh... Mysterious observers and bizarre dimensional phenomena. Because, yeah, it seems that we, uh... With the amount of damage that's uh, visible on the exterior, we almost certainly need us to uh, consult a specialist. I went outside today to try to look for mom and dad, and what I saw, my heart was racing. Something's wrong. Everything looks distorted, destroyed. I don't know what to do. Was what I saw even real? A strange man was there, too. He was looking at the chaos, and he seemed to like it. He told me I should turn back and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mom and dad are. Would he know? Where are my mom and dad? Did they get hurt? Do they need help? I don't know what to do. My mind is racing. I'm so scared. I'm so worried. What should I do? I'm tired again for some reason. Why am I so tired? Hmm. I don't know if I should be sleeping, but for some reason I can't keep my eyes open. Will everything be fixed when I wake up? Mm, I can't help but, uh, I can't help but feel that the answer is probably no. Oh dear. Hi. Who are you? Who are you? Hmm. Uh, I should... Hmm. Well, as I suspected, uh, we're not safe inside. What's happening? I need to find mom and dad, quick! Hmm, okay, the rug is not actively carnivorous at this point. The family photo of you and... I can't remember who this is. Oh no, the, the vases! Our precious vases! A broken vase! Oh no! I should check only as a last resort. 
I'll come back if they're nowhere else. All right, the living room is not much better. Who's this a picture of again? All right, phone's gone. What was the picture of again? Wasn't there a vase here? Someone has burgled and broken all of our precious vases. <laughs> I shouldn't eat this. Yeah, you ate it anyway. You feel sick. Oh. Absolutely no self-control. Doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. I don't like what the sink is full of. Nothing to eat. Radio won't turn, won't turn on. Someone, someone's really just went to town on our... Oh, we've got at least one potted plant still. But yeah, someone has really just gone to town on our vases. Oh dear, there's nails sticking out. I don't like that. Anyway, in case you're wondering, I am pointedly ignoring the strange uh, effigy in the middle of our kitchen. And bills and papers. They're slightly torn. Only slightly. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're not going to see the next episode. Couch was switched out again. Our normal, our big couch is all ripped up. Faces are broken. Pictures are messed up. What did these get here? Hmm. Shower curtain destroyed. I didn't do that. Bathroom sink is relatively okay. No change to the garbage can. Toilet's broken. Toilet paper is not broken, though. We can be glad about that, at least. Hmm. A broom? Box with questionable contents inside. It's a closed box. It's a box on a table. Mold receipts. Questionable contents. <laughs> the boiler is the least scariest part of this room right now. You can say that again. Wasn't this dryer before? Washing machine. Interact with effigy. We'll get there, I'm sure. Alright, the garbage can has not changed. I look a little bit broken today, it seems like. Hmm. Do we want to go outside, actually? Evidently we don't. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, see what's up with this effigy. Where did this doll come from? This isn't my doll. It looks familiar for some reason. Take the doll with you. Can't hurt, I guess. <laughs> it can't hurt more than uh, the rest of the situation. How do we feel about going outside now? Not great still. Okay. Hmm, maybe mom and dad are just uh, remodeling. Hmm. All right. It seems that they they decided to uh, do some major renovations to their room. This is a bit worrisome. I don't know that this is up to code. Something hidden in the wilted plant. Hidden pages. Hmm. Alright, we can't get behind that. It seems that that uh, mat has been stepped on recently. An open journal. Previous pages are all torn out. The last page. This is... Mom's handwriting. Find this journal, my little star. I'm sure... I'm sorry we couldn't get to tell you one last goodbye. 
I know you haven't found your confidence yet, but I know deep inside a strong and brave girl sleeps. I wish we would have been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please move on without us. I think it's too late for us. Hmm. I wish with all my heart we can meet again in another time, another place. Please know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. This is... Can't be. No. They must, they must still be somewhere. I still find them. They need my help. I, I have to. I have to find them. I... Hmm. Well, are we ready to, uh, face the world? No, we're not. All right, so tomorrow, let's take a quick rest, maybe, get some of our strength back. What have you done with my snake? Excuse me. It's you. It's me. <laughs> You, you know where my parents are? Hmm. I think you already know the answer. They're gone. Hmm? To a place they can't willingly return from. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No. I... No, it's... It's not true. They're not gone. They can't be. No. Man, Visual Novel Night has suddenly become uh, a lot less cozy. Well... They may be gone from this world, but it isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were... From this world, yes. There's nothing that can be done. But if you are willing to take a chance, you may be able to find a way to save them. There is a world beyond this one that you seem to be already somewhat familiar with. A world you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. It seems like because of her, after the link to that world, it wouldn't be very hard to create a path for you there. There is a world like that? So it really exists? However, in stepping through this path, you never return to this life. Can you take this step, knowing you may never be able to return? If there's a way to save them, I have no choice. There is a chance that in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you, but what might upset you is that it includes the memories of your parents. Oh dear, sorry about that. With this risk in mind, will you take the step? Do you think, even without the memories of this world, You'll be able to save them? I... Did they lose the memories of mom and dad? No. Memories... My everything. Stay behind, and you can hold on to your memories forever. An endless, abysmal chasm. How... How can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are these? Do you... Do you know why all of this is happening? Do you know what caused all this? I believe I do. There's an influence from a large, unstable power in a world not too far from here. 
It's likely that's what's causing this world to collapse in on itself. Or perhaps this world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. All of this is happening. Why are you here? How did you come to a decaying world? Curiosity. I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone. The one I suspect caused all of it caused all this. Or I guess they may be making the decay of this world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate, and I came to see this world to its end. I was surprised to find there was anyone left. There isn't much time for you left either if you stay here. You too will soon be drawn to the depths of an endless chasm. You find yourself unable to stay awake for very long, isn't that right? I don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. There's someone I'd like to return to soon, so this will be our last meeting, and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? I mean, we've got to do it, right? We've got to save them. If there's any chance that we can save them, we've got to save them. Yeah, no choice. Yeah, we... There's little more to be had here, I'm sure. I'll go. I need to take that chance. If there's a way I can save them. Maybe. Yes. Deep in my heart, I'll make sure I hold on to their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. That's the spirit. You've made a wise decision. Step through this door and don't look back. Oh. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe I'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. Um, I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling dreams and happiness will come true the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Bye, Melody. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'll never forget you. Hmm. Very interesting, very interesting. Is there a sequel? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I basically the only thing that I knew about this. Oh, I think mom and dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. Still, I can't believe my eyes. This outside world before me. It's so beautiful. All right. Oh. I guess we'll uh, we'll see what's here. Oh, we can kick the ball around. Nice. Wow, good job. You found the secret room. You must have some questions, right? I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Cat, indeed. Who are you? I'm Temmie, creator of this game. I draw, illustrate, pixel, animate. Right now, I guess, I made some sound effects in-game using a cute program. Behold! Please hire me, I need work. Anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? 
it's directed at you. Insert player name here. How did I know you were insert player name here? Well, I am pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Why am I a cat? What happened to the lonely girl? Who is that handsome demon man? Is this all there really is to the game? You must be eliminated. Be gone. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, what do we want to know? I don't... We'll probably get the chance to ask multiple questions. Unless we uh, eliminate uh, Temi. Which I really wouldn't like to do. But, uh... Uh, do we have anything that we would like to particularly uh, learn at this point? Yeah, lonely girl first? Alright, alright. What happened to the lonely girl? It's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world. However, because she was influenced by abnormalities from the King world, she was shifted into a demon. This is pretty partially a, pre a premise for the game I want to make next. So there may not be a sequel now. And I say may because I'm not sure. Uh, I do not... Uh, like I've said, I have very little information about this game. Hmm. Demi has made some other games. Some that look to be in this in this style. So maybe. Anyway. But that game is much more ambitious, and I don't know how long it will take me. Hope you get to see it someday soon. Well, if if that game is out, uh, and is one of the games that is uh Emmy has made, then maybe. We might just. Might just get to do that soon. Anyway, I think she prefers this being this way anyway. It really is a new start for her. Also, very similar to, how, to what she always wished to be anyway. Works out, kind of. What else did you want to know? You know, let's let us uh let us learn secrets about Cat. Haven't you always been? I guess I'm a cat. Who is that handsome demon man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. But he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. <laughs> no secret, just cat. That's how it is sometimes. What are what are what are the characters he's referring to? His character design. I guess, yeah, let's just go through the, the list in order, I suppose. Yes, what about it? Did he need to be a handsome demon man? Why wouldn't he be a handsome demon man? I mean, come on. Yes. <laughs> Alright, handsome demon man. Who are the characters he's referring to? The someone he wants to return to is Yoki. She'll be the main character of the game I want to make soon. The character causing everything. You'll find out in the day, in the one day I ever finish that game. Hope I do. Is this, is this is all, all hair? Yeah. Yes. That's it! I'm sorry there's so little. Hey, no problem, no problem. This was just meant to be a test game and I learned, I made to learn how RPG Maker works so I can make the game I actually want to make. That's fair. I mean, it's farther than any of my game projects have gotten. <laughs> it's farther than any of my game projects have gotten. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. I ended up getting attached to her story and made it longer than I intended. I'm not really worried writing a story with this type of tone and themes. I really hope it doesn't upset you too much. I enjoyed it. I hope everyone else enjoyed it. Sorry if it did. Anyway, we're not going to eliminate Temi. Absolutely not. There's something to watch. Watch what's on the TV? Of course. It seems as time has passed. She slowly lost the her hold of her memories from her last life. However, she's still drawn to the girl she met in her dream. Though, maybe for the wrong reasons. Maybe, one day, you might realize and remember the reason, the, the real reason that she's drawn to her.
Maybe. What a shame she lost her memories. Oh well. Cats cannot interact with boxes. This is unfortunate and also blatantly false. It's a radio. It seems to be playing some of Tem's favorite music. A lot of it seems to be sung by some sort of some kind of robotic voice. It seems there's also some vocal covers of the same songs playing. It's her. It's her. Missing pages from the mother's journal. Would you like to read them? Sure. I'm not sure what's going on. My husband and I have been both been feeling strangely lethargic this past week. It's like no matter how much I sleep, I don't feel any more rested. It's strange how we both feel this way. Maybe there's something wrong with the mattress. My daughter seems to be more distant than usual lately as well. She seems to be shutting herself in her room more often. I'm worried about her. She's always had low self-esteem. She always seems so ashamed of herself. I wish we could get it through her head that she couldn't be who she wants to be. The only thing that's holding her back is herself. I know, deep down, my baby girl is, is a shining star. Maybe sometime soon we can plan a trip to somewhere far away from here. A nice getaway where we can do some family bonding. Maybe we've all been a little distant lately. We can drive off to somewhere we've never been before, soak in new sights and refresh ourselves. We can try to figure out some steps to take we can take to make her help her feel better about herself, to help her grow into, into what she wants to be. See what, we, see what we can do to help her get out of the her rut. I think the fatigue is really getting to me. Maybe a small nap will help me feel better. Keep reading? Sure. Something's wrong. My husband won't wake up. No matter what I do, he won't budge. Not only that, but when I look at him, I don't know how to describe it. He looks like he's losing his form. As time is passing, I feel I can recognize him less and less. I'm panicking. What's going on? I'm terrified. And I think the same is happening to me as well. I can't seem to leave this room. I can't seem to find the door. This isn't normal. What's wrong with me? I think I heard a knock at the door. Is that you, my little star? I don't know what's going on, but it's getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. It feels like I'm fading out of existence. Knocking stop. I'll just take a small rest. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. This all seems like a fever dream. It probably is one. I just need to remember when I wake up to check on my girl. Keep reading. I don't know if I ever woke up, or if I'm still asleep. I can't tell if time is passing or standing still. The room is so distorted. I don't think this is a hallucination. I can't find my husband. Where is he? Is he still in this room? He's not... He's not gone, is he? Is this what we're facing? Our end? My love, where are you? There's so much, but for some reason I can't seem to cry. I need to see my daughter. It feels like it's been ages since I've seen her. I don't know how much time has passed. Is she worried about us? Is she safe? This isn't happening to her, is it? I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. She must be so scared. So alone. My mind is racing and I can't seem to retain a thought in my head for too long. I lose it before I can even process it. Before I can no longer write, I need to write out something for my little girl. I hope. I wish. With all my heart, this letter will make it to you. Hmm? Seems like there's someone in this room with us. My husband. Who is this? Maybe. Maybe he, he can help me. Maybe. Maybe he can make sure this journal gets to her. Hmm. Then we must be destroyed for giving us these sads. She seems happy. It's, I'm glad to see things turned out okay. It's a familiar doll. Things could have been worse, I guess, but, uh... If you insist. Goodbye, Temi. I, I appreciate your work, but, uh... <laughs> chat demands that you be eliminated. Huh? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Is there anything else to interact with? Justice. <laughs> Let's see. Have we already... Yeah, we've already seen this, I think.
But yeah. But yeah, now I must say I am invested. I'm very interested in, in seeing uh, the rest of this uh, this storyline. Although, of course, we have a uh, we have uh, eliminated Temi, so there will be no there will be no sequel. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, none of these boxes are interact with the bowl. So I guess we'll just return to the start screen. And then I suppose we will return to uh the studio. Get back to the studio and we will uh wrap things up. But yes. That was very interesting. It was a uh, a big uh a big difference in tone from uh, Christmas Celebration with Sakuri Izuoi to uh, Escaped Chasm here. But uh, I'm, I for one, am very interested in seeing uh, seeing what happens next in this uh, little story here. Alright, let's stretch a little bit. As I understand it, there are there are multiple endings to this game, so we might uh, might come back and uh, sort of see what those could be. I'm assuming one of them is probably, yeah, one of them at least is related to us uh, walking outside and not coming back. I'm sure. Another one would be us staying, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what might be beyond that. Multiple endings, I guess just one other. I don't know, I, I'm looking at the uh, itch.io page for it, and it says that there's like, uh, let's see, yeah, four, four different endings. Around four, it says, actually. I don't know what around four endings means, <laughs> necessarily. Maybe sort of some variations on, uh, slight variations on endings or something. Yeah, fade to white at the outdoor part. So yeah, so there's the fade to white part. There's the, you know, choosing to stay part. There's the, um, yeah, fade to white, choose to choose to stay, choose to go. And all this must mean that there's at least one ending that we have yet to uh, conceive of. So yeah, this is definitely something we might want to look into. But yeah, also incidentally, like I said, I was looking at the itch.io page. So if anyone else is interested in playing this game, it is a pay what you want, so you can get it for free if you like. But yes, anyway, let's get back to, uh, or let's not get back to, let us uh, conclude. We're not getting back to anything, except for, perhaps, getting back to the end of the stream. Because it is that time of night again, everybody. Alright, so, before we do anything else, let's see, let's see. Schedule, there we go. So, the schedule is a little bit different now than it, uh, than it was before. Uh, specifically, uh, I realize now uh, I had been thinking all this like last week that uh, Saturday was New Year's e Eve, but uh, New Year's Eve is actually tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're going straight from Christmas to New Year's Eve. But yes, so tomorrow, New Year's Eve. So instead of doing, you know, this New Year's, New Year's uh, end of year stream, <laughs> forgot until an hour ago that I don't have work tomorrow. I mean, I didn't know uh, until today that I that I don't have work tomorrow also. But yeah, so, uh, but yeah, my boss, uh, uh, yeah, I learned that in a text from my boss today that, uh, yeah, no work tomorrow or close tomorrow, but yes, what was I saying? Something about the schedule. Yes. Okay. So, uh, all right. I got to activate these neurons. Hold on.
Okay, so tomorrow, Friday, Destiny 2, Forsaken, 10 a.m. We will be playing that. Uh, then, instead of the Saturday 10 p.m. stream, we're going to have another stream at uh, 10 a.m. on Friday. Because I want to, you know, the end of the year stream to be at the end of the year and not the start of the next year, because that's not quite right. But yes, so let's see, anything else to say? I suppose that's pretty much it. We've only got these, you know, two streams coming up on like one day. So that'll be that. Um, yeah, let's see. But yes, so Forsaken in the morning and then in the evening, We'll be streaming until midnight, uh, roundabouts. We'll be discussing sort of some plans. We'll be talking about sort of uh, what I've accomplished in my not quite a year of streaming, I guess. Yeah, I was like, when did I start streaming? Mid-March. So it's about 10 months, about 10 and a half months uh, by the end of this year, which is more than I, uh, more than I thought, actually. I've been at this for, for a good long while, huh? It feels like just yesterday I was doing my first Hollow Knight stream, and uh, yeah. But yeah, anyway, that is neither here nor there, because it is, well, I guess it's there, because we're going to be talking about stuff like that tomorrow uh, during the end of the year stream. So, hope to see you all there. I realize, you know, New Year's is a time when a lot of people have plans, but... If you don't have plans, you can drop by. And if you do have plans, you can always watch the VOD and all that. So yes, I suppose that is that. So, tonight, I think we're going to go and drop by. Well, actually, yeah, I'll just come by with a friend to hang out. Gotcha. But yeah, I was going to say, I was, I was going to uh, choose a raid target, but I forgot. As always... I will give you all a chance to make a suggestion if anyone has one. In the meantime, I will take a sip. Sip. And I can always, of course, come up with a target myself. Yeah, none from you? Alright, no issue, no issue. But yes. So, got ahead of myself a little bit there. Whoops. Got ahead of myself a little bit there. But, now, let us go and we will, uh... Yeah. Yeah, let us raid, uh, Fairy Fae. I believe we're going to drop by and see her today. Fairy Fae. Whoops. Okay, cool. I'm always a little bit nervous about, uh trying to write out her name, because I, I I always feel like I'm spelling it wrong. But we didn't spell it wrong. We're on our we are just about ready for a raid. So, raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Thank you all for being here tonight. Uh let's see. Yeah. Thank you for being here. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. So there's a sequel. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, hold on. I just realized I typed we arrived instead of we have arrived. It is absolutely essential that we uh, include every single every single one of those words in our in our raid message. Otherwise, it just wouldn't be our raid message, now would it? But yes. So definitely gonna want to check out the sequel at some point. So hope you've all had a fine night. Hope that you will continue to have a fine, and hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Until then, farewell. Let us get this raid underway.